Good afternoon, everybody. I feel very pregnant right now. <laughs> like I've hit that point where I just feel large and in charge and very pregnant. <laughs> and I, do, I do also feel like, cause it is really, really hot in the UK at the moment. The melting is extreme. <laughs> Starting to lose motivation to just do anything. <laughs> so everything feels like a mission and I just procrastinate so much. So what I'm kind of trying to do to still keep going, cause I still have quite a lot that I need to keep doing over the next few weeks before I fully stop is just do, don't think. So I have literally just walked in from the gym, very much needed a shower, just wanna be naked. I'd love to know actually if you have been pregnant before, at the end, did you just wanna be naked all the time? Because I just wanna be naked. <laughs> Obviously I can't do that while I'm vlogging, but I spend a lot of time naked, just sat about <laughs> like a whale. <laughs> yeah, I've just come in from the gym and I just thought if I don't pick you up now, I will stop, get naked, wail it out for the rest of the day, but I really wanna to chat to you as well, so <laughs> please excuse the sweatiness. But I did actually do a really good leg session at the gym, which I might pop in actually because it was a, new session from the brand new peachy summer challenge which on the day this video goes live will have just dropped in the app um so if you would like to join there is still time actually asked the team if we can put a special code for any of my youtube family who are watching who want to join on um to get slightly more discount than our current sale we have on for the challenge so if you would like to join i will leave a link in the description box but basically it's a follow-on from the peachy guide that we launched earlier this year which so many of you seem to love and was super super successful so i basically have created a summer version which is essentially a lower body focused guide there's still upper body in there there's also abs in this one and cardio but it's just a very intense version of peachy so it's there to build lean muscle essentially so um i've written it progressively so you will see results as well it's not like loads of random workouts or anything like that it's a proper structure so that you can see results in eight weeks home or gym option as well it's just slightly more advanced slightly more intense slightly higher volume and it's gonna be good. I really think it's gonna be good. And if you want something to motivate you through summer, just feel really confident and really good from within. <laughs> and you wanna do it with like loads of other girls that are gonna kind of like motivate you in those times and those days where you just can't be asked. Peachy summer is for you. But I did a workout from week one and I might actually insert it so that, I didn't film it for YouTube. I actually filmed it for Instagram, but I might insert it so you can see the vibe of one of the three lower days in the week because there's three. <laughs> picked up a meal deal on my way home and actually I thought I'd show you because I love knowing what people's favorite meal deals are please let me know what is your favorite meal deal if you go to like Sainsbury's or co-op or something what do you pick I've gone for this sandwich which I think is a new one oh yeah it says new <laughs> but it's a parmesan chicken salad which I thought sounded really nice usually I go for a tuna or a chicken tikka but give that one a go today we've also got some dairy lee dunkers because love them and we've also got a fulfill protein bar and i've also gone for a lucas egg because these are getting me through life at the moment and giving me energy slash sugar i also wanted to show you guys some of the gorgeous gifts that we receive from our baby shower from our family and friends basically i said to everybody if you would like to give her a gift then we would love you to give her your favorite childhood book that we can read to her because that is something that i'm just so excited to do with her and then some family gave us a few other bits which i thought i'd show you as well my dad my dad was buzzing with <laughs> his gift 
he was like, I saw it on Dragon's Den and I just thought it was amazing. <laughs> but they're really, really cute. But um, yeah, we'll have a look at that once I've eaten. But also how beautiful are these flowers? I wish I could just keep them forever. I need to do that thing where you like squish them in a book and then they dry out and you can keep them. Maybe I should do that. I think I want to do that, but it's literally only been like two days since the baby shower. So our house is just looking absolutely beautiful right now. Right guys, we need to prep ourselves because we've got a couple of weeks and your new sis will be joining the fam. Now, how are we going to be finding that? <laughs> I really want to see what they're going to be like. I'm so excited to introduce them. I think Basil will just be obsessed, but I think Bluey might take a few days to warm up. But you'll always be mummy's first girl. <laughs> Gonna be such good brother and sister. You have to protect her, make her feel welcomed, and not kiss her too much with your smelly breaths. <laughs> Very quick bump date before we have a look at some of the prezzies. I feel like last week, within the space of like four days, she tripled in size. Now when she is moving, I can really feel like where her head is, where her feet are, where her bum is. <laughs> Just, it blows my mind. But as Niall mentioned in the last video, he loves it because he really feels like, well, also what's really cute is when he talks to her, she starts kicking back. I mean, you never really know if they are kicking because of that, but I feel like they are. But he loves now that he really can like feel her body parts. So obviously she's not in his body, so he doesn't feel her all the time. But I think it's really nice that he feels like he can really connect and she feels like a full on baby now. Anyway, <laughs> let's have a look at some of these prezzies. So first up we have some of the books. I definitely read this one. I definitely read this one. This is a new story from Winnie the Pooh, which I'm actually really excited to read because I loved Winnie the Pooh when I was little. I've got a Dr. Seuss book, which I feel like was like just after my time. <laughs> I think my younger brother read this a lot, but I didn't really read Dr. Seuss, but I'm sure she will love it. And then Bri actually got her this one, which is like an interactive one where things move, which I'm sure she will absolutely love as well. <laughs> Um, and then some other bits that some people got her. So my dad got her this little play mat, <laughs> which is really cute. It's got a butterfly on it too, which is very on theme of my life. I just love a butterfly, don't I? I actually got her this little really cute romper with a matching hat. And obviously, cause she's due to have her baby a week before me, she got her baby the matching one. <laughs> so they're gonna be matching, which is just gonna be so cute. And then we have this gorgeous little summer romper, which has little seashells on. I feel like this is gonna be so nice during the summertime. And then also one of my friends got her this little jelly cat cloud, which I feel like will be really nice in her bedroom. Jelly cats are really popular now, aren't they? I was looking at the butterfly one, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but also my friend Annie got her a jelly cat, but people like collect them as adults. I never really heard of them until recently. Niall's mum actually got us a little Moses basket, which is gorgeous so that we can have that downstairs, which will be good. And I love that it's wicker. And then <laughs> my dad obviously got those things, which I've shown you before. Look at our cute little dinner set up. Niall has made us, what have you made us? You tell us. Mm. Well, it's actually meant to be a meal prep thing, but we're just having it for dinner. Well, I was it's, working um, on something special at the moment, which we're not allowed to say. That's <laughs> a meal prep recipe, isn't it? Okay. It's very special. Greek salad, basically. Taking us with to pack sauce. Garlicky, sort of lemony, herby, greeky, sort of. I guess you call it chicken souvlaki. Um, in the air fryer, and then these little pitta croutons Ooh. in the air fryer. Four minutes in the air fryer. No oil. Like a bit no of me oil this. So a nice You're becoming an air fryer man at the moment, aren't you? Well, I am. Uh... <laughs> You're one of them. Do you know what I was telling them the other day What's when up? you were away? What? How in long-term relationships, some of you guys actually. I look so worse for wear. I'm so tired right now. 
basically. Some of you guys were saying, because the vlog just went live, that you get me, so I'm glad, because I, I felt like I sounded like a freak. I was worried that the neighbor was gonna hear me just like gushing over you. <laughs> but I was just saying that in long-term relationships, like obviously you always love each other, but sometimes you're like more connected, less connected might be having a bit of a rough patch or like a, a really close patch and I was saying that I'm having a I'm obsessed with you patch. Nice, that's good. <laughs> this is an awful angle. <laughs> it slips out as well then. <laughs> we might have done it. It's a bit it. up shirt isn't it? I haven't done the buttons up. I was saying to them as well I just love being naked at the moment. <laughs> just because of pregnancy not because <laughs> <laughs> because I'm so hot and yeah, sweaty, large. I'm in charge. Large and in charge. You think you're in charge? <laughs> yeah. Are you obsessed with me too? You better be with me. Of Say course it. I am. <laughs> I'm always obsessed with you. But yeah, we've um. No, but I you feel do. Like that for maybe a year, about the last sort of twelve months or something. Yeah, you've been obsessed with me for. A while. This has turned into a really cringy conversation. <laughs> it's more I was just saying though that you know when you are in a long term relationship, sometimes you are less close, yeah. and like people don't talk about it. No, no, yeah, yeah. Like before that, we were maybe a little bit less close, but yeah, I think you just have to sort of try and work on it together, don't you? And find find that really sort of close bond because when you're when you're both clicking and you're both on the same wavelength, there's nothing better. Is there? No. But also, relationships can't always be like on top, top, top form no. where you're just like yeah. in the honeymoon. F not 10 years on either. No. Yeah, we've been together a long time. <laughs> yeah. A long time. 10 years. Nearly 10 years ago, I saw you in that pub. Glance over me life. going. Nearly. That's what you did. You went over your shoulder and you walked on to the next girl. <laughs> You walked on to the next boy, probably. <laughs> I did say so. I walked on to your friends. <laughs> anyway, I was also saying how um, I'm really excited for like picky dinners in the garden for in summer. You know, like when you get like the hummus out and the mm. crisps, get some little carrots. Yeah. I'm really I'll excited for that. I'll have to do a meal prep. Picky. Yeah, you should do a picky dinner meal prep. Picky meal prep. I did a post on Beyond actually about nice things about June, I thought I'd read you them too because they make me really excited. They're just like simple little things. <laughs> and they make me wait for my dinner. No, let me just tell you. Love Island starts again. Number one. Ooh, I don't watch I don't I don't like that. Don't watch Sitting that. in a b yeah you do, you're a liar. Ooh, Sitting me. in a beer garden with an ice cold glass of rose. Oh, I can't or a do beer. That at the it's a beer garden. It's called a beer garden for a reason. No, but it it's supposed to relate to like all the gals. Oh, okay. Oh, beyond. I can see that so from the graphic. The, yeah. Yeah. This is what I'm reading nice off from graphic. beyond. Right. The sun setting at 10 p.m. Yeah. It actually feels so early now, and it's nine. Hanging the washing outside. Such a granny one, isn't it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> fun. <laughs> Summer wedding season. Going out without a jacket and picky dinners. Picky dinners. What's your favourite things about Jinga? Can you feel her kicking your leg? Do you feel that? Should we be... Are you ready? <laughs> hey, we're gonna eat our dinner and um, we're gonna make some baby furniture, aren't we? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. At nine o'clock I should be in bed with my feet up and my achy ankles in the air. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, we just made our baby bedside crib. I wanna hop in, it looks comfy. It does look comfy, doesn't it? Oh, so cute. Feeling emotion. Oh, you want me to repeat that, don't you? <laughs> he was just saying he's feeling emotion. Certain things that <laughs> that happen, and then I'm like, I get very like excited. I feel like the, I want to cry. Baby, the baby bouncer and the bedside crib. Yeah, things. the ba yeah, because <laughs> those sort of things make it seem really real. I'm so excited now. <laughs> I li I'm so excited to have a little baby. <laughs> no. But it's crazy. It's hard for it to get your head round sometimes, or for it to sink in. But little moments like that make it yeah, seem have very more, real. We're gonna have more moments like that now because we need to get everything ready, don't we? Yeah. I feel like because we don't always do lots of things with, on the baby all the yeah. time, but now we're getting closer. We have to get everything. Together. Little things like this is crazy because it's like oh, in a month's time, you know. 
could be less than a month, you know. We're <laughs> literally getting it ready for her. You know yeah. what I mean? She's right below your head right now. Wee, wee, mummy, wee, want booby, wee. <laughs> I want bitty, bitty, no bitty. Way. Want <laughs> I want titty, mummy. Want. Come and come and have a Here you go, little girl. Have some titty. Hopefully. Have some booby. <laughs> have some booby. Have some boobs. I'm jealous that you don't get to sleep next to her. I was thinking that. No, you can wake up. It's alright. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll go back to sleep. <laughs> to deal with the nighttime feeds. I'm not sure yet. We need to figure it out. We need to figure out if we're going to combi feed and if. Or if I'm going to pump as well, because then you will be doing it. No, that's what I mean. It'll be in a bottle. I, I always just assumed we'd share it all 50-50 as much as we can. Yeah. But she might I just think, want boob. Yeah, I do think at the beginning it won't be 50-50, but maybe as, as it goes on we'll have to figure it out and work out what she wants. No, <laughs> can't wait to see you be a mum. <laughs> can't wait to be a mum. It's just so weird because, like, I feel like I want to be a good mum and I just always think about really? it and I've never done it before so I'm just a bit nervous and just hope I'm good at it. Yeah, it would be, it would be interesting to see all your maternal instincts kick in. I just want to show them my um, move that I have to do in the evenings to try and turn it around. What's that? Off the bed? Yeah. Oh, there we go. This is what I have to do every evening at the moment. Yeah. To try and turn it around. It was on this thing called spinning babies. Mm -hmm. and apparently, it's the best thing. Interesting, isn't it? Interesting <laughs> position. <laughs> you have to be careful though, but I have to stay there for a while. But I'll do it afterwards. Please. You're gonna do that. You're gonna bounce a little bit on your ball. I'm apparently doing this. As well. <laughs> do your hip circles. Do your downward no, dog mean. dog off the downward doggy off the bed. Yeah, and watch Love Island and. Eat a mint twirl. How, how many times have I bought those for you without you even asking from the I shop? Mm. These are the best. If you haven't tried one yet, try a mint twirl, then you get me one every evening, don't you? Say so goodnight, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow for some nesting. <laughs>
have a bowl in the evening, usually, and a bowl in the morning. Baby, come here, come say hi. Oh. She makes our morning every morning, doesn't yeah, she? Do. She gets up. Yeah, look, up. look at it. She doesn't have bad on. breath anymore since all of her teeth were taken. <laughs> well, it, it's not great. It's not good breath. No, but she doesn't. Oh, she doesn't. Oh no, she's like, Dad, stop showing me up. You no, know, kiss, kiss. Oh, good, good. Yeah. kiss, kiss, ma'am. It's stinky. He's not. He's <laughs> the stinky one. It's just disgusting what he likes. Kiss, to, mommy. He likes to put his good mouth. Good girl. <laughs> Bear has a on a Wednesday morning. You're a cheeky little chappy, aren't you? <laughs> they get so many Currently hanging out with my mates. <laughs> this guy's called Hamley, and this guy's called Hamley too. <laughs> This was my childhood bear, I absolutely adored. And then this was his replacement, which I just never liked quite so much. I am currently in the nursery room. I've just come out of the shower. Don't you agree that coming out of the shower and feeling clean and fresh is just one of the best feelings in the world? It's just one of those things when, you, when you've got nice wet hair, but it's hot and it's nice and cool and it smells like fresh shampoo. <laughs> when you could smell your shower gel on your skin, you moisturise and you're just feeling young, wild and free. That's me right now. I'm feeling fresh. <laughs> I just love that feeling. It's so nice. Anyway, I actually am in here because I'm going to have a little bit of an organise with you of the dresser. So I've gone all out organization mum and I've got drawer dividers I've got a label maker and I've been heavily influenced by TikTok but I do feel like when she comes if it is really like obvious where everything is or it's like in the night and I need to grab something quick but it's all sort of laid out very nicely then I think it will just be very very helpful now I'm feeling a little bit of that like nesting feels that people say you get near the end of pregnancy I feel like I'm hoovering all the time and just like getting itchy feet to get everything sorted because she could come anytime now I did a big Amazon order of like some organization stuff so that I could get it all nice so if you like like organizing then you might like this next clip but um I'm also a little bit conscious not to just well, my life is very much revolving around baby now, but I do realise that not all of you want to watch that. But, yeah, this week I'm really feeling it. I'm feeling like my brain is quite occupied with baby. And I just am getting the, that itchy feet to kind of get get ready. I feel like I'm at that point now. And because my body is starting to get more tired, I've got very, like, achy hands and feet, and I'm feeling much more pregnant, I... Yeah, I hope you don't mind that we've talked quite a lot about baby girl in this video. <laughs> I've also brought in all the washing so that I can roll everything up and get everything into place in the drawers as well and get that all labelled. And then my Amazon stuff's over here. So we've got things like dummies, we've got pseudocreme, we've got nipple cream, nappy bin, cotton wool. I did my first nappy shop yesterday. I felt like a right rookie in... Um, <laughs> in Tesco I just felt like you know when you're paying uh, this is like obviously in, in a different way but you know when you pay and you're buying alcohol but you are of age but then <laughs> you just feel like you're doing something wrong or like someone's gonna come over and be like what are you doing you're not old enough <laughs> even though I've literally been of age to drink for like nine years now I still get that feeling but I had it with nappies where I was like I just look like I don't even know what I'm doing or I felt like I felt that way anyway. <laughs> just gonna get it all organized and get it in there and I feel like it'll just feel like things are starting to feel together. And I'm quite looking forward to doing this too. So I might just pop you on a time lapse to do that. But just before we do that, I wanted to quickly show you my Harry outfit because I am going to then get myself ready nice and quickly because Lizzie, my friend, is going to be here very, very soon. She's coming down from Manchester. You did see her in the last video, actually, if you watched the baby shower vlog. She was the one that was making mocktails with me. She, I love her so much. She also shoots all of my bluey stuff, too. That's kind of how we met through working with Bow and T. And then we've done quite a lot of different photo shoots together since. 
she's an amazing photographer but she's also now one of my best friends in the world she's just an absolute babe but we're going together tonight so it'll be really lovely but i am also kind of glad this is now the last thing that's strenuous in my life before um i give birth i mean i booked these tickets before i was pregnant it was over a year ago that they released them and <laughs> anytime harry styles releases tickets in England I'm going to try and get them and I do feel like it's a nice thing to do as the last kind of strenuous thing whilst I'm pregnant so I'm slightly nervous about the tiredness <laughs> but I love him so much that I'm sure I'll just dance and have so much fun drinking mocktails <laughs> with Lizzie and um, then I'll kind of definitely slow down now because <sighs> going to Harry Styles almost full term is a little bit questionable <laughs> i'm sure we'll be fine now's gonna come and pick us up i think which is nice he offered when we were talking this morning which is nice of him so we don't have to get a train home but anyway my harry outfit so if you don't know if you don't know harry styles his gigs are very like his gigs are amazing i'm gonna bring you guys and show you some because he is such a showman it's i'm sure you will have seen all over tiktok because he just uh, he talks to the audience and like gets people super involved from the audience and he's dances around the stage like Niall was doing this morning a little bit better than Niall did <laughs> for that kind of vibe but he's just so good to watch whether you love him like me and Lizzie do or whether you just want to see a really good gig he's amazing but everyone kind of dresses in a certain way and wears like really out their outfits lots of feather boas lots of cowboy hats I haven't gone too wild but we have a slight retro -y theme to the fit i'm gonna wear this little skims play suit i think because it is so hot today as well this will be perfect and these are so comfy i actually bought the gray one of these before i was pregnant and loved it so much and then started wearing it when i I had my bump and it still fit me this is still the same size because they're so stretchy this is one that i got recently which i thought would be so cool for harry and then i'm also gonna wear my cowboy boots which is very harry <laughs> i've got some white glasses from asos <laughs> which i also feel like is quite retro and then <laughs> i kind of wanted to accessorize to make my outfit a little bit more out there but I, last year when I launched Bluey, treated myself to these very snazzy earrings. <laughs> so they are huge. Like, they are literally huge. And I was like, you're going to knock people out with them. But <laughs> I guess they'll be my bodyguard against my bump in the crowd. I saw them last year as we were launching Bluey on... Was it on Revolve? I think that they were on. And this is the thing, right? This is also the other accessory that I am taking. If I ever get anything that is like a little bit more special, a little bit more expensive, I can't bring myself to wear them because I get too worried that something's gonna happen to them. So I actually haven't worn these yet, but I thought this was a perfect time to just whap them out and that could be like my big shebang of my outfit. But also <laughs> the other very snazzy thing I'm gonna take which I get very scared to wear is my sparkly Prada bags so, <laughs> if you don't know the story of this bag I'm not like massively into designer items if I'm going to kind of spend money I prefer it to be on you know trips away or experiences but <laughs> when I was going on my hen do I was very drunk in the airport with all of my friends and we walked past Prada and the girls spotted this and they were like you need this and we were so drunk that I decided to get it and then the next day I had the absolute fear but because I'd put it on already and because it's like white there was like a tiny little mark I think of fake tan under the strap <laughs> I was just like we can't take it back so I mean it's absolutely beautiful it's just that you know it is <laughs> it's just very extra but I wore it quite a lot around my wedding last year and I just get scared now to get it back out but I feel like this is a really good occasion and um yeah that's my other snazzy little accessory for today's outfit anyway I'm gonna get on with this organizing and then I will get myself ready and I think what I'm gonna do is make 
one of my mocktails from the weekend which i'll actually make with you because some of you did ask like how did you make them and they were so nice so i'm gonna make a passion fruit no mito i think for me and lizzie for when she gets here Right, we're getting somewhere, but I need to go and get Lizzie from the station, so I need to pause for today. But we're doing well. I just, I just actually tested out my label maker, and it actually is working. It's one of those things, I found this on Amazon, and usually these little kind of mini tech things can be an absolute nightmare to set up. This one's really good. It just connects to an app on my phone. So if you are looking for a label maker for whatever reason, I will link this one because it was so, so easy. I was very pleasantly surprised. <laughs> but I've started doing them. I haven't quite got everything done, but I've done a few. So the only other issue I've had is my jaw dividers are too big. So I need to send these ones back. They were just these little wooden ones, but they're much too long to fit in my drawers but I feel like it'll just keep it in order if I do get some. But at the moment we have our nappies. We've got a few different sizes and then we've got our wet wipes. We've got our muslins. We've got little hats. Look at this one. Oh, they're so cute. Look, this was a little two pack from, was it Next or was it H&M? Can't remember, but one of them. And I just feel like they're gonna look so cute this summer. And my little strawberry hat. <laughs> she's gonna have when she comes out the womb <laughs> um and then we've got a few other bits here like pseudocreme cotton pads and we've got a little healthcare kit there so it's got things like snot suckers and um thermometer and all that jazz and then down here we've got some clothes so i haven't quite figured out how to fold sleep suits well they look a little bit bulky and chunky and messy at the moment so I need to have a look online or if, if any of you guys have any tips on how to fold baby clothes <laughs> then let me know because I think I can make them like thinner and more neat but we've got newborn we've got naught to three months and then by here we've got vests and again newborn naught to three got a little sleep bag there I've got some space for some swaddles and I need to probably get maybe another couple sleep bags got some little socks look at these socks guys i can't cope with the socks i feel like they're one of the cutest parts look at these little frilly ones oh my gosh so cute <laughs> um and then down here i have just popped at the moment some blankets this is our sling which is from free rider i need to actually work out how to use it because it's basically one big piece of material but apparently this is one of the best things when you want to like be doing stuff but you want them to feel close on your skin so you can kind of have your hands free around the house but they can still be close to you as well as like in their Moses basket I think it's quite good so they can feel your heart beating you know just be near you so yeah that one's really good because it's nice and thin as well which will be nice for summertime and then we've got a few other random bits, which I, I kind of want to properly organise this bottom bit with some little baskets. But it's just kind of like some bath stuff, some nipple cream, we've got some dummies, some breast shields, just miscellaneous, basically. <laughs> I need to do like breast pump. I still haven't got a breast pump, actually. So actually, if any of you guys have recommendations for a really good one, please let me know because I need to find one and um the other thing i need is a baby monitor but i need to kind of organize like shields pa breast pads pump all of that jazz feeding stuff basically but that will probably go somewhere else in a little basket i feel like we've got somewhere and i'm starting to feel like things are a little bit more together it feels good so i am going to probably leave that there for today but i will see you guys in a bit once I have got myself ready for Harry. I'm so excited to see him again. <laughs> Quick fit check. Put my outfit on. I walked down the stairs and you 
you were like this. You look like a gobstopper. God, that's so mean. <laughs> you look like a beautiful gobstopper. A, a very pretty Brad, one. With large <laughs> I'd put you on my gob. You need to show yours too. <laughs> No, I feel like this looks cute. It's very hairy. Yeah. People do nice. We just need some feather boas. Oh, I'm like warmest. Everyone will be selling them there. Yeah, you can get one there. Oh, shall we? Yeah. I know I what happens at a Harry concert. Yeah, I'll he be, knows Harry Styles. I'm a bit of an expert. <laughs> very cool. I really like your outfit. Look at Lizzie's hair. It's so pretty as well. Very unlike you to have mm. matching to have colour. <laughs> <laughs> you don't usually wear black everything, don't you? No, this purple is the most colour. It looks wear. really nice. You should get you should keep them. Right, we've made our mocktail which is really <laughs> you like this. You look, <laughs> you look so proud. <laughs> How good it looks. It's so nice this one though. So this is ice, lime, mint, lemon. Soda. This passion fruit liqueur, which I just got from Tesco's, which is so good. So nice. And we actually did put gin in today, which we didn't do on the weekend. So this, this, no, no, not gin. No, <laughs> no, 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 no fake alcohol, gin. Fake yeah. gin. But which this is really, one really, really, is really, good. really good. Yeah. So we put that in today, but Taste we're actually going to have to take that on the train, you know, in the jug. Journey juice on the go. Fake journey juice. Try that one. <laughs> <laughs> What are we gonna do with the jug? Oh, that's so nice. Nice, isn't it? Nice. So refreshing. Oh, yeah, perfect. I don't think it needs enough. Yeah. Right, watch Journey Juice ready. <laughs> yeah, we actually need we to go because our taxi's here. Let's, yeah, right, let's I go. think we just take this. What are we gonna do with the jug, though? Can't well, we we can hide it in a bush and then pick <laughs> it up and go. <laughs> <laughs> 15 year olds. <laughs> yeah, it's not even our <laughs> It's best friend goals. <laughs> I can't lean down because of my bumps. Right, one done. <laughs> Lizzie's wiping Next. away yet yeah, last year's field. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I literally look like the really bad mum. It's, it's not alcoholic <laughs> because we're running around with a jug. <laughs> I was like, Lizzie, I can have to drink it quiet because I just look like a really bad mum with this <laughs> big bump and then a jug. It's not, it's not hidden at all, is it? <laughs> Actually, I did bring a shirt so that I could cover myself. You can only have a sip if it's covered. <laughs> that is very funny. <laughs> We're trying to find a head. We found a leg. We found a leg over here. There's a gone. So, yeah, because her foot. So maybe she's not breech anymore. We're trying to figure out if she's still breech. Can't breached. find a head or a bum though. <laughs> God, don't oh say God. that. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, we can't work out what's what. There is something. Maybe she's down here. I can't feel anything. No, I've lost. <laughs> right, you're throwing me off. You look like you're <laughs> fortune telling. <laughs> what do I see? <laughs>
did you fall asleep on the sofa and didn't know where everyone had gone? You have to go, yeah, she did. She was fast asleep. She was... Oh, you've got to come to bed with us, baby girl. It's a bit late. She didn't get her evening nap after her walkies, did you? <laughs> she came to pick us up. Came to pick mummy up. Oh, that's what you'll have to do with baby girls. Carry her up the stairs when she's tired. <laughs> she looks like a little baby. Bluey. Baby girls now. Bluey, you tired? Oh, her face. Oh. <laughs> right, we're home from Harry. It was absolutely incredible. How did you get home? Oh, you picked us up. Our night in shining armor. Good, yeah. <laughs> well done. No, to be fair, we actually couldn't to get home. To be fair, you were fucked. We were. <laughs> <laughs> You were lucky I was on my way already. We we left early on the last song, which was a bit sad, but we were like, we need to avoid the crowds, still hit the crowds. But the, the security guards were really nice and they like, let me go up the stairs when there wasn't any crowd and stuff. Oh, look at this little chubby. Hey chubby boy, how are you feeling? <laughs> Did you see that look he just gave? Fuck off. Hey chubby boy. <laughs> <laughs> what was that face about? Anyway, I basically just came on to finish off this vlog and Niall wanted to tell you about the fact that he fell asleep last night like uh -uh. this. You did, to be fair, it was really cute. You're better now, I've told them that. <laughs> you don't know. I can go to sleep now, see that guys. <laughs> Me and Lizzie were saying that, you know, you know when we're um, older, Harry Styles is going to be like the David Bowie of our era. I just no. Know <laughs> yes, he <laughs> is. Ridiculous. He is. Who else is? He's going to be he a makes, legend of our era. If he makes. Uh, he does the proper moves music. to really like look the he's part got, as well. He's got one pretty good album. It's not getting you ahead really of us. like the album, even Niall's been singing it I since I got home. I don't. No, no, no. no. <laughs> yes, you were. It's one of those things where when you when you get subjected to it that much. Oh, we've been three times. No, I, I like a few You have of the to songs. be a Harry fan to give three times. I wouldn't put the album on by myself. Yes, I, you would. I've no. seen you do it. How? Because I'm by myself. How did you see? You spotting on me. <laughs> you had it on earlier and I was doing my no, own thing No, you put it on stream. at 9am and it was on until 4pm. <laughs> I was getting in the zone. Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed... What did we do? Lots of baby stuff. I hope you don't mind that... That fact because everything's getting extremely baby in this house at the mm. moment. Because we're gearing up for her arrival anyway thank you so much for watching i hope you guys are all okay and i will see you very soon in the next video